Hi, this is Joachim for statisticsglobe.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to count the number of NA values in a vector or data frame column in the R programming language. So in the video I'm going to show you two examples and the first example relies on the vector that we can create in line two of the code. So if you run this line of code you will see that a new vector object appears at the top right. And we can also have a look at this vector object by running line three of the code. And then you will see here at the bottom in the RStudio console that our example vector consists of several numeric values and also of some NA values. Now, if we want to count the number of NA values in this vector, then we can apply the code that you can see in line five. So first we need to specify the name of our vector. So in this case, we have called our example vector vec. Then we have to wrap around this vector name, the isNA function. And then we have to wrap the sum function around this whole code. So if you run this line of code, you will see that at the bottom in the RStudio console, the value three is returned. And this actually means that our example vector vec contains three NA values. In the second example of this video, I want to show you how to count the number of NA values in data frame columns. So for this example, I'm going to create an example data frame, as you can see in lines seven, eight, and nine of the code. So if you run these lines of code, you will see that a new data frame object appears at the top right of our studio. And we can have a look at this data frame object by clicking on the data frame object. And then you will see that a new window appears, which is showing the structure of our data. So as you can see, our data consists of six rows and three variables, x1, x2, and x3, whereby the columns x1 and x2 both contain an A values. Now let's assume that we only want to know the number of an A values in the column x1. Then we could apply a similar code as in example one, as you can see here in line 11 of the code. So first we need to specify our column and this can be done by specifying the name of our data frame then we have to write a dollar sign and then we have to specify the name of our column and then we have to wrap the same functions around this data frame column as in example one so first we have to apply the is and a function and then we have to apply the sum function so if you run this whole line of code you will see that the rstudio console is returning the value two and this means that the column x1 contains two NA values. Now, what I also want to show you is how to count the NA values in all the columns of your data frame. And this is shown in line 13 of the code. And uh, in this case, we are specifying the name of our data frame. Then we are wrapping the isNA function around our data. And then in contrast to example one, we are using the call sums function. So if you run this whole line of code, you will see that at the bottom in the RStudio console, some output is created, which is showing the number of NA values in the column X1. So in this case, the column X1 is consisting of two NA values. Uh, the column X2 contains one NA value and the column X3 contains zero NA values. Yeah, so this is basically what I wanted to show you in this video. However, if you want to learn more about the counting of NA values in vectors and data frames in the R programming language, then you could check out my homepage, statisticsglobe.com, because on the homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video, so you could check it out there. And furthermore, if you have liked the video, I would be very happy if you leave me a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel in order to get notifications in future when I'm releasing new videos to the channel. That's it for this video. See you next time. Bye bye.